Usala is asking, please discuss the smile that did Umbra on behalf of Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> Uh, is doing Umbra to send someone else's soul to paradise something that is actually Islamically accepted? For example, I know that Mormons have uh, post what post what is this post how much after they baptize you after Posthum oh. posthumously posthumously, posthumously uh, baptize Anne Frank, the, therefore co-opting uh, co-opting her multiple times, and this is seen as legitimate within their faith. Needless to say, this was not received well. Yeah, so. I, 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 can you do that? Can you do Umbra for somebody who's, yeah, you can do Umbra for somebody's dead, but do they have to be Muslim? Yes. Technically not, no, wait, there's yeah. nothing in Umbra that says that, does it literally say in, Shari, in like in Islam? You can't, Quran? there's a principle, there's a logical principle in place. And I'm trying to find the Quranic verse. Which one is, was it? Was it chapter nine something? Um, Let me actually bring uh, the story. So, so you can't even pray to, a um to a non-muslim you can't even say to god that oh god please bless them you can't even say rest in peace you can't even say that let alone doing an umrah on their behalf you can't do that man. It's, it's it's not allowed uh, don't you know the whole story of prophet muhammad when he actually tried to say uh, when he tried to pray for his mother and then his companion said hey why are you praying for your mother she died as a as a kafir so muhammad was like oh yes yeah, sorry i can't pray for my own um, for my own is mother. That, uh, is that Sahih it, Hadith or just Ramayana? It's in the Quran, man. Oh, oh the, really? the, the mother story is in the exegesis. It is a Sahih Hadith, but the actual Quranic verse, there's a whole meaning behind it. Uh, we actually discussed that on, on, on Sunday. So, so yeah. for, let's actually explain this for people who don't understand what we're talking about. So, okay. So it says Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, a man arrested after Mecca pilgrimage for the uh, for queen. So Umrah is kind of like the Hajj, but like on, a mini on version, smaller version. Oh, yeah. we got actually a couple of super chats that we need to ans answer as well. We will answer the super chats. Uh, I'm starting them right now. Um, okay, so I will answer them. So, but okay, so so we have Hajj, which is like a specific day of the Islamic calendar that you go to uh, the Kaaba, you go to Mecca, and do the circles around it. But Umrah is kind of like Hajj, but not on a specific day. You could do whatever you you can do it whenever you want it. It's much less significant, less busy, but also it, it has you get brand new points from Allah, but not as as big of the Hajj one. The Hajj one is kind of mandatory if you're able, right? So yeah. this person, so you could do this pilgrimage or Umrah uh, to Mecca. You could do it on behalf of dead people. You could do it for dead people. For example, you could do it for your dead parents your dead brother, anybody who's dead, right? So this dude did it for the queen and he got arrested. Why would he get arrested? Is it against the law? Yeah, because she's not a Muslim. But like there's, a, but is there anything in Saudi law? That says a, that there, there must, there, yeah, there must be because as I said, um, you can't even say rest in peace. You can't pray for. Yeah, but uh, not everything that is un-Islamic is against the law. Even in Saudi Arabia, there's some limitations on what's against the law. No. Uh, maybe no. Maybe maybe no. No. Maybe maybe not in this case because uh, they, they can actually make it up as they go along. So there. The, 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 here's this Quranic verse. Yeah. Have a look. Have a look at this one. Surely you know about this one. Uh, it's. Uh, so it is not for the prophet and those who have believed to ask forgiveness for the polytheists, but that is usually taken as for everyone, even if they were relatives after it has become clear to them that they are companions of hellfire. So, um, so, so this is a reason why you can't pray, you can't wish well for uh, any of the non-Muslims. So there is the exegesis as well. So let me show you that. Um, Okay, but that's polytheist. The queen was not a polytheist. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. But as I said, like with with, with the uh, istihad, it includes everyone, every non-Muslim. Who said that? Okay, that's just. Uh, I, I'm no. gonna put my I'm gonna put my Muslim hat on and say, that's just the opinion of some scholars. That's not Quran. You're just making. Uh, whose istihad is that? I don't recognize this person's istihad. I don't recognize this much the head. Uh, you, yeah, you look. I mean, then I would say, well, you're just a lipstick Muslim, you know, like you you want to make it. Uh, lipstick better, Muslim but... is a person who believes in the Quran and takes the Quran seriously. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Much the head. yeah. Lipstick the, the, Muslim the one... is a person that doesn't take much the head seriously. I have to take every goddamn much the head seriously for the me one, to be a serious. The Muslim. one, yeah, with the one who 
the one who just wants to interpret the Quran in his own way. You know, like there's a whole well, story. I'm not interpreting it in my own way. It literally says the polytheist. It Listen, literally just says polytheist. I'm not interpreting yeah, it. But there, yeah, but there's, a, there, but there's a story you can't deny. The hadith, this hadith, this sahih hadith, this hadith is recorded in two sahihs. Even Jari recorded that Sulaima uh, well, said that his father said, when the prophet came to Mecca, he went to a grave, sat next to it, started talking and then stood up with tears in his high eyes we said oh allah's messenger we saw what you did now he's obviously sitting by the grave of his mother i asked my lord for permission to visit the grave of my mother and he gave me permission i asked for his permission to invoke him for forgiveness for her muhammad's mom but he did not give me permission the evil allah he said we never saw him more tearful than on that day so this is a sahih hadith. Okay, 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 but she, still, but she wasn't a polytheist. Saying, they say she wasn't a polytheist. So, no, so, so, so there you go. How do you know? Huh? No, no, poly, uh, how do you know? Even in the even in the exegesis, it doesn't say that she wasn't a polytheist. The Quranic no, no, no. verse is referring to polytheist, and this was had this uh, like just adding to that Quranic verse. So basically, this she must have been a polytheist. It was normal back then at her time to be a polytheist. So this does not say that she was not a polytheist. So your your point does not. That, so my point, man, I made the same point on my, on my Sunday scoop on, uh, last week. I'm, I said the same point. <laughs> I, I said it's polytheist. It doesn't say, but through Ijtahad, they've actually done, they've included all non Muslims. Where's, where's so, Ijtahad? Based on what hadith? Based on what hadith? Well, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't care okay, about so that. Okay, so I mean, it's just a mushtahed, like mushtaheding. It's a mushtahed, so, ijtahading. No, but you asked me a question. You asked me a question. Why did they do it? So I'm saying that's why they did it. Okay, okay, but it's not so. This could okay, maybe okay, but there is bold, bold clap. It's not based on. This is not Islamic. Let's actually read. Maybe it tells us why they did it. Saudi authorities have arrested a man who claimed to have traveled to the Muslim holy city of Mecca to perform an Umrah pilgrimage on behalf of Queen Elizabeth II. The man, a Yemeni national, published a video clip of himself on social media on Monday at the Grand Mosque in Mecca, Islam holy site where non-Muslims are forbidden. In the clip, he held up a banner saying, Umrah for the soul of Queen Elizabeth the <laughs> second. We ask God to accept her in heaven and among the righteous. Uh, the footage was circulated widely on Saudi social media with Twitter users calling for the men's arrest. Saudi Arabia forbids pilgrimage to Mecca from, uh, from carrying banners or chanting slogans. Oh, so see, this is the reason. Okay, yeah. so they're like, yeah. So the reason is like you can't you can't carry any banners and you can't chant slogans. It's not because she was it was doing a uh, umbra for the uh, from the, for queen. the queen. Well, see, while it is acceptable to perform umbra on behalf of deceased Muslims, this does not apply. To uh, this does not apply to non-Muslims like the queen, eh? Okay, but let's see why <laughs> is that the reason why they did that? Who was it doesn't Supreme matter. Governor? Go ahead, go, go to Saudi Arabia and argue with them. <laughs> <laughs> Who will send you flowers? <laughs> um, okay, quit carrying the banner, uh, violating the regulations and instruction of for um Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at this. Um, security forces at the Grand Mosque arrested a resident of Yemeni nationality who appeared in a video clip carrying a banner inside the mosque, the Grand Mosque, violating the regulations and instructions for Umrah. They don't see which regulations said a statement carried by the state media late on Monday. So what, so if you hold a sign and say, I love Muhammad, would they arrest you as well? Because mm. no signs allowed? Like, hey, I love Muhammad on the sign. Would they arrest you for that? Yeah, possibly. He was arrested. If they say that. Yeah, I mean, if they say that, yeah. I mean, did, who, who wants to try it? <laughs> I would love to try it. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be arrested for holding a sign that says, I love Muhammad. Like, would I get like, I'm, no, they'd, be like this, they'd, be, this they'd be like, They'd be like, no, no, but because we have a policy that you can't hold signs or placards, but so you, we were attracted to you because of your stupidity. But now we know who you are and what oh, you've shit. done. Okay. Chop, chop, square, <laughs> off you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, did you know that actually you can't even do this for a Muslim? Like the guy wants the Queen Elizabeth to go to heaven by doing an Umrah for her. Okay. But yeah. you can't, you, technically, you can't do this. For even for Muslims, like uh, so, so how do you translate sabwab in English? Like brownie points for good deeds, right? Oh, swab. Sabab. Yeah, sabab. it's like uh, well, I think they call it virtue. Yeah, well. 
The so sub-up is like yeah. sub-up is like the bonus points. The credits, get. yeah. Those are the credits. Right. So it's basically the credit. Yeah. It, so, uh, so Islam works on the credit credit score. system. <laughs> the yeah. credit score. Yeah. Yeah. So you do good things, you get po 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 uh, positive credits. You do minus things, you yeah. get negative. You get uh, negative. It's yeah. the opposite. So sub-up is the opposite of sin, right? So you do yes. bad things, yes. sin. Sub-up is the positive version of that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, when you die, all your sins and sub-ups stop except three did you know that like after no. you die yeah there's three there's three types of stuff like after you die it keeps adding to your points or taking away from your points even oh, after really you die. yeah yeah right. so the money oh, that yeah. you spend yeah yeah so if she's like if you spend money on charity yeah um, it's called you, jariya. it's called yes Sabka jariya. yes it's a, yes Sabka jariya. Jariya. yeah Sabobajaria. All right. So, Sabobajaria means like you die and you do, like you spend money on good things and even after your death is still doing good things to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like let's say you let's say you build a mosque, right? Or well, let's say you, you die, planted a tree. Tree let's and somebody yeah. somebody is under the shade of that tree after you dead you're still getting sabob. Or you build a mosque and after you dead people are praying in that mosque. Even though you're dead you're still adding to your point even though you're not living and doing good things. So so spending money um mm. wait Oh, spreading of knowledge. So let's say, for example, when we die, because our videos are causing harm, even after we're dead, we're it's still being added to our sins, right? But like Daniel Hayreju, even after, because his videos will still live after he dies, his videos will continue adding to his sabab even after his death. So it's spreading knowledge, right? Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. that's the second thing. And the third thing is your children praying for you, your good children praying for you, pious children praying for you. Right. Yeah. So none of these three includes Umrah. Right. So if like if you do an Umrah for somebody, it's not going to add to their sabab. So you're basically wasting your time. You might as well just pray for them. If you're the son of a dead person, um, you would have been benefiting them more if you prayed for them instead of doing an Umrah for them. I think that's how it works. Yeah. But, you know. So, the, you know, Islam is not really that strong when it comes to logic. So, with a tree, <laughs> yeah, the tree is basically helping uh, someone uh, take, uh, you know, someone takes refuge in the shade and the, and the blistering heat or whatever. So, you don't have to do anything. You just did something. And now, since that thing is actually helping other gods, creatures out. So, if you have kids, yeah, I know I know if, if that kid is praying for you, does a Quran Kwani or, you know, read the Quran for you, does a Surah Yasin or whatever then fair enough you get you get some credit for it but what if your kid is just doing good things because you brought him to the world yeah, yeah. no but uh, no no but i'm saying that that logic should apply because the tree it is doing that that is that, yeah, that yeah. tree is doing good things so so that is incumbent on oh. the tree's good good action so okay, okay, no, it, applies, ap it applies if you if he's doing good thing because of the knowledge you gave him or because of money you spent on your school and education. So it has to be yeah. in the form of money you spent that is doing good things or the knowledge that you spread that is doing good things. So if your kid is doing good thing because of the information you gave him, then yeah, it goes to you. But if he's doing it on his own and it has nothing to do with you. No, but, no, no but the tree is doing it on, on his own. Yeah, but you planted it, okay? But with the intention. Again. Yeah, so, so I, I, I brought my kid to this world we okay the tree so i don't know it has to be in the form of like money or resources i don't know you're right the tree doesn't apply actually i don't know i don't know no no but, but it does apply I, i've heard of it people people say that all the time they say oh yeah just plant a tree at least you know because you every person is going to take advantage of the of the shade yeah you, you'll keep getting the, the the swap the social credit i have to check my source oh, yeah right you're right i have to check my source to have your questions answered on the next live stream become my patron today you can do so with as little as one dollar a month Link in the description below.